So I don't know about you all, but I have been obsessed with building lately ever since we got the horse ranch pack. And I'm not joking, build and buy for this pack is so good to the point where I feel like I don't have to use custom content in my own personal gameplay because the wood swatches are really nice. We have new base game swatches, free build cam. We can paint our ceilings. Like there's so many cool things that I can incorporate in my own builds while using cottage living, parenthood, cats and dogs, seasons, and all the other packs that I have. And for once in my life, I am a horse boy through and through, and I might be building way more than usual on this channel, which is common at this point. But I wanted to build on a bigger lot, like a 40 by 30 lot, and not build on like a rental lot, on a 20 by 15, just to see what I can do and test my knowledge and skills of making a full on ranch that's a little bit bigger, but not too big, like a 64 by 64. That one will come in time because right now I don't have the patience nor the energy to build on a bigger lot. But for now, 40 by 30, it is. So I have to be honest with you all, I'm fully obsessed with the Horse Ranch pack right now because for the past five days this pack has been out, I have been building like a crazy person, but I've also experienced what it's like to train a horse correctly, have my first foal, nectar making, how to sell your nectar properly, how long it takes to have your nectar from not aged yet to finally aged, and it is so much fun. But recently I discovered there's actually a cave that looks like, you know, a weird looking cave that has like a game inside of it that's like D&D, &D, which I have never played D&D &D before. But people have told me that this cave is so unique and so cool that there's like up to 17, maybe even more levels in there. And I've only done two levels. And I've been having way more fun than I thought I did that I might go back again today just to see what it's like. And I am a full on horse boy living their ranch country living life to the point where I might own a cowboy hat, but I got to find the right one that's yellow in my style and I can appreciate for the long haul because if I'm going to be this ranch boy, I might as well live it to the best of my ability, but in the right way. Now, I built this house when I had early access to the horse ranch pack a couple weeks ago, and I made a family of three horses and two sims, an adult sim and a child sim. And it was technically a family that I wanted to play with just for like my own free time to experience the pack. And I might do like a little current household gameplay with them if you are interested in it, but I wanted to be able to kind of make a family with base game and horse ranch Kind of see what the kids' outfits are like, see what the adult outfits are like, the hairstyles, and just how they're different from the other packs, but also how well they work with the other packs. So this house specifically, I didn't intend to make it a two-story house because I was like, I'll just build a one-story house, you know, with two bedrooms, one bathroom, open floor plan. And then I got ambitious, you know, at 2 a.m. thinking you know what? I want to be able to build a two-story home just for the fun of it. Last day of my access, so let's see what I can do. So I literally rushed this build like crazy, and it only took me two hours to build, which usually builds take me about three and a half hours to build from start to finish. If I'm not streaming it, it'll take me longer. But this house was so much fun that I want to like take my hand and like challenge myself to build more bigger builds that have like a purpose to it. That's just not only like your standard family home that you usually see from me, but I really want to like add a lot of activities, you know, nectar making literally everywhere. And it, it, it's like my newfound obsession, nectar making was my favorite thing to do in The Sims 3 because you could like go to like, I think it was France, do all your nectar making, pick up your grapes, your strawberries, your fruit, and like make whatever you wanted and then have it aged there and then sell it for a lot of simoleons. That this one, this one's going to be my favorite one. So I think what I might do for like my own personal gameplay with my current household, Aspen O'Connor, is that I might just like place a bunch of nectar making stations in different parts of the world and different community lots that have a basement and they don't have a basement, I'll just build one. But I can definitely see myself putting 
maybe like a nectary, you know, building that I will build in Tartosa and then have like a nectar making machine in the basement with a bunch of like, you know, wine bottles just everywhere that you can purchase for yourself. And then maybe putting one in like Windenburg and then maybe one in San Mishuno. Like, I don't know. Like, I really am enjoying nectar making. I don't know why. I, I think because you make a lot of money from it that your sims are like, what do you do with all this money? How do you like really make it happen? Um, but I don't know. If you have the Horse Ranch pack, let me know what your thoughts are, like your opinions, everything. Because right now, from what I have played, I give it like an 8.5 out of 10, which is saying a lot because when I first played it, it was a 7 out of 10. And I was excited for horses. I was excited for nectar making as like the next person. And I was like having high hopes for it to be good. And I think by itself, the horse ranch pack is good, but there's not a lot of gameplay after the fact once you get all the competitions out the way, you've done pretty much every single odd job, you have all your skills to like to the max level that you're like, what is next after that, you know? So I think a lot of times what I always say to people is like, if you want to enjoy like your first ever pack, add on another pack to it, like seasons and horse ranch and cottage living and parenthood go really well together for this pack specifically because seasons is seasons. You got to experience all the seasons, see what it's like. I mean, cats and dogs, you know, horses can interact with the animals and it's really cool that they can. But then also like seeing how it works like cross platform. And my friend, the English Simmer, Molly made a whole video about how well Horse Ranch worked with the other packs. So if you want to go watch that video, I will link it down below because it's a really good example on how each pack works well with the new pack. And I thought it was very informative, very like insightful that it, it showed that there's a lot of value for certain packs for certain types of gameplay that you're looking for. And I haven't gotten to the point where I'm fully finished with the horse turning and also the whole competition. Like, I'm midway through, so I'm getting there eventually, but so far, I've been really obsessed with, like, training my horses. I think the one thing that I would have loved to see was where kids could train the horses, like, at a certain, like, skill level of, like, mentality. If they had, like, a high level of, like, mental skill, like, level five, they could train a horse of, like, jumping or barrel racing. They could do that, but kids are just there existing which I don't mind, but I think if they had a little bit more to do, like responsibility on the ranch, it would have been more fun for me to play with them a little bit longer. But I have taken so much time to explain what I like about Horse Ranch that I haven't even explained about what the build is. And I remember making this build on my last and final day of the access that I wanted to kind of try and do an open floor plan for the kitchen and living room and a little bit of like not an activity room, it's more like a sitting room because the dining room is like separate from the kitchen. But I really love the spandrels and the wood swatches are so good. And I remember in the base game update that we got last week that they showed us new swatches for the base game door that fit for the ranch life. And I'm like, yes. Now, all we really need is like basic furniture basic landscaping, basic windows, basic curtains that match everything. And our life will be complete, or at least mine will. But if you know, you know. But I really had a lot of fun like combining all the other packs that I have seen thus far with like base game and horse ranch that I was like, I really wanted to see how far it will take me to like make this house fully customized to the point where it doesn't look like it's actually a part of the game. But I didn't want to use any debug because I didn't really know what the cheats were because I kind of forgot. So I just used whatever was in the actual like build and buy catalog with base game. I love the chairs that came with this pack. I love the swatches. I would hope there was more with it. I love the little flowers. I tend to repeat a lot of items in this build because I kind of lost of like what I wanted to add. But since there are only two, two Sims and three horses, I wanted to include some 
musicality because the child that actually is going to live here loves piano making, loves like, you know, helping around the ranch, like interacting with the horses, riding them, getting their riding skill up a little bit more, that one day they want to become a horse riding jockey champion. And I think starting very young with your horse riding skill in The Sims is very beneficial. That way you don't have to like actually work towards that as like a teenager or a young adult, especially if you want to go to college. And I haven't experienced anything when it comes to the horse ranch and Discovery University on how, how that works well. But you know, there was a time, you know, last week, five days ago, I wanted to see what it was like to have a sim. Now, might I have you go to university while dealing with a ranch of like two horses, having a child, having a mini goat, mini goat and sheep, and also having their own part time job all at the same time of doing the horse competitions and the odd jobs, let's just say my sim didn't do so well. They um, were on probation to the point where they just decided not to go to school anymore. So I would say, pro tip, don't have your sim enroll in university while having a ranch of having two horses, mini goat and mini sheeps, and having a child and doing everything the ranch life you have. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth the stress because I'm telling you, I forgot about their homework that I'm like, oh, wait, finals. They failed because I forgot to do their homework and their final project. You know, that's OK. It was only one class that they were doing. So it wasn't the end of the world. They can always go back if they want to. But for now, I ain't going to do that. Mm -mm. I ain't going to do it no more. Mm -mm. University is so difficult in The Sims that I didn't realize how much I was going to cry about it. But I just don't want to do it anymore. I think Discovery University is a good pack, but Lordy Lou, it is a stressful time dealing with like school life, work life, personal life, and just life in general. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth the stress. Don't do it, besties. Don't do it. But I might do it again eventually with my Sim Aspen O'Connor if she ever decides to go back to university for a third time. Because right now she has two degrees. And I just want to see what it's like to go for a third degree and like experience that ranch life, but as like a celebrity, you know, live my yeehaw life of the century. But I don't know. I really just have to say like this whole experience of like the horse ranch pack has really opened my eyes to like new styles of gameplay that I want to see what it's like to experience like seasons with this pack with all four seasons because I've only experienced fall and winter and spring, but not um, the other season. And especially like all the other like weather patterns. And of course you can turn off the weather if you don't want the weather, but I want to experience what it's like to have a horse like being spooked from like the thunderstorms and the rain. And like also experience like having a toddler and an infant and having a, a cat and a dog while in the same house. So I want to see what that's like eventually down the line that I probably will show my Sim Aspen O'Connor in another video. But for tomorrow's video, you will see the creative Sim of the Sims and the horses that actually live in this ranch style family home. But for now, I want to go ahead and do a real time tour of this house in the game where everything is slowed down, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, because I did cut out a few things that you did not see. But for now, let's go ahead and do our real time tour. So I have to say for this house specifically, I was trying to capture the ranch style and the suburban style all at the same time. And I think I captured the vibe pretty okay. Now, since this house only has two bedrooms and two bathrooms, I wanted to include enough space for three horses. So I added in the three stalls on the side of the house for each horse. We have their watering station and also their hay now animal feeder. We have the barrel racing over here, some balls, and a little dollhouse for the child. But I realized that this house, even though it does have barrel racing, on the other side of the house, there's like the jumping course that your horse can do for their jumping skill. That it feels like when you expand, it feels like we have this whole land that is ours. So I'm just going to say we own this at the house. And it's our own little acre of land. And I kind of like that idea of the ranch style. It just seems more fitting. 
I also added in the gardening plot over here so you can grow some produce because eventually what you'll do is make some nectar on the side of your house that I thought was like a nice little touch for the outside. Now for the porch, I wanted to add in like two rocking chairs, some decor saddles, and also a little piano. And of course, I had to add in the Western gnome cowboy. And look at him. They look so cute with their little, you know, wheat in their mouth or straw. They're like, Suli Suli, howdy howdy. And it just makes perfect sense. Now for the foyer area, I wanted to capture that family real feel of personalized like clutter items. So I added in like a little photo frame, a little radio, some jam jars and some napkins, especially a little backpack for the child who lives here some books and some shoes and a nice coat rack. Now for the dining room, I wanted to keep it relatively simple as well because I love how the table looks with like the runner on it and like the wood tones of the chairs and the table, especially with having the nectar racks behind the table seemed easier enough. So we have like some stuff over here and also the nectar racks over here on this side. So if you run out of a storage on either or, you can always like get more if you need to. Now for the office, I made it so where the adult sim and the child sim could both work in here if they so please. Like one sim could be playing piano and the other sim could be writing a book or chatting with people online for whatever reason. But this room was definitely like a multi-purpose, like miscellaneous, like I don't know what to do with this room. So I just slapped a bunch of items together and called it an office and it made perfect sense. But we, I forgot that we also have a storage box. So if we have more nectar, you could store it in there if you want to. It won't age properly, but you can store it in there if you're moving somewhere. And it just seems like a good place to put it in an office rather than like a bedroom or like outside or like in a kitchen where it's already too crowded to begin with. Now over here, I wanted to keep the floor plan pretty open, but also separate them by spandrels. And I'm not a big fan of open floor plan at all because I don't know how to fill in that space or how to make it look good. But I think I did a pretty okay job with it. We have the kitchen in the middle. We have the living room on the left side. And then we also have like a little reading area on the right side. I was going to put another piano over here because I thought this was like a more a musical type family that would have pianos in every single room. But I decided against that because they're too expensive and they're quite big, I feel. So only two pianos, one outside, one inside, and we're good to go. So over here, we have the kid's bedroom with everything that they basically need from their mirror to their bed, to their desk, their little fish bowl with their one little fish, their toy box, and their wardrobe. And I love the new rugs that we got with this pack. Like this rug specifically is so cute. Like the swatches alone are so adorable that I want more of them. So I had to definitely include this rug into the mix. Now for this bathroom over here, we have a brand new tub, which I thought was very woodsy and also a new bath cabinet that I want to include along with the new sink. And I felt the new flooring tile from base game and the wallpaper from base game just like sealed the deal. And it like worked very well that I kind of kept it very minimal. I could have added in a rug in here, but I felt rugs were not needed for this particular bathroom per se. Now for this bedroom over here is the parents' bedroom and there's only one Sim who's a parent. And I love this room a lot, more specifically for this corner right here, because I love the armchair. I love the, the fireplace. I love this like little shelf table unit over here. It's just like, it's so country and it's so cute that I love it and I need it in real life so badly that this bed completes the look. This like bookcase completes the look and even like all these little decals on the wall complete the look. But we have the wardrobe over here and also the other mirror and then their bathroom as well. And then out here is like the balcony with a nice little telescope to search the stars, see what you can find, find some aliens, find some shooting stars, whatever you want to do. You have your own little telescope and your two log benches. But basically that is the entire house. I'm really happy of what I did. If you want to download this house for whatever reason, it is on the gallery under the hashtag spring sims 
or my gallery name is also Spring Sims, the same as my YouTube name and my Twitch name. But either way, as always, do let me know down in the comments below of what are you thought of today's build, especially if you ever built your very own ranch in The Sims 4 with or without the horse ranch pack, because I would love to know. But lo and behold, as always, I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.